Keisha and Lo. It's me again. It's Keisha. Yo, let me just tell you what the heck just went on. And excuse my freaking, because I was just like tearing up and it just dried right there. It's not that I didn't have my face clean or nothing. Anywho, yo, my fucking baby cousin reached out to me on Facebook, sent me a friend request. First of all, I had to check to make sure it was her and it was her or whatever. But she really like informed me of some very, very fucking disturbing but very crucial information to let me know that, further let me know that I wasn't tweaking about my family members and stuff putting like false representation on my name and saying things that are totally not true. Now I done told y'all in the previous videos that um I got clean February I, I stopped completely getting high February of two thousand and fourteen. Right? So <laughs> I don't, I'm not understanding how my cousin Monet, Patricia Jackson, my baby cousin, which is the daughter of my uncle, Kyle Bunting, a.k.a. Born Islam, how she was telling me like she was on her way to work, you know, just taking her normal drive to work, doing her shit, minding her business to handle her womanhood. And, you know... I explained to her, like, about why, like, I'm just not friends with certain people on Facebook or whatever. And I told her, like, I cut, like, I, I just took everybody off it. You know what I mean? Like, I think I probably only got, like, three Facebook friends. You know what I mean? But, I, you know, we, we, we communicated on the way to work. And I was speaking with her. She gonna tell me that she, you know, because we wasn't friends on Facebook or whatever, she has her everyday life that she, you know, going out there grinding, thugging, handling her own, taking care of her business to be able to take care of my little baby cousin, motherfucking BJ and shit, and handle what she supposed to be handling. She said that she was asking my uncle, which is her dad, how have I been? Her father going, and I had to ask her, like, well, what time frame did he tell her the information that he told her? Because I had was going down to my cousin's apartment that was not too far from my mom's house when we lived on First Avenue. And I was fucking just smoking weed then. And at the time, I was drinking and stuff like that. But that was the only thing. And, I, and like, my cousin, know, like, even in my fucked up days when I was out there motherfucking smoking crack and shit like that, like, I never freaking was not myself. Never not, you know, who the hell I am. I just was, like, altered with crack and shit like that. But for me, speaking my truth and telling on myself and stuff, my cousin already know that I'm going, you know what I mean? What the fuck? There ain't no fucking point in fucking trying to be flexing and shit. So, anyway... So, and that was like in 2015, 2016, because I moved with my mom in April of 2014. So, I'm trying to figure out how she asked him this shit. She said like last year or so, which was 2021, even we're going to take it back to 2020. You know what I mean, it don't even matter from the time I was staying with my mama until this present moment. I've been... Just minding my business and trying to get to where I needed to go. And my cousin said she know that shit. Like, so she asked her dad, how was I doing and shit like that? Kyle Bunting, I don't know why you lied to Patricia Monet fucking Jackson and told your child that my mother had custody of my daughters because I was getting my shit together. I don't appreciate that shit. I don't appreciate that shit one fucking bit because you really just sat there and lied to your own child. Your, your own child. About your niece that you know my mother don't have fucking custody of because I talked to your ass since I've been over here on the West Coast on the freaking phone. 
my mama even was talking to you on the phone now what y'all was talking about in your own time while she was in her apartment and i was up in my own apartment i don't know what the hell y'all had you know conjured up and whatever the hell's plot scheme screw and all of this other shit whatever the hell it is that y'all talked about y'all need to stop lying Y'all really need to stop lying. Y'all really need to stop putting in paperwork. Y'all need really need to stop signing statements and just tell the truth about the stolen money, about y'all knowing everything that y'all freaking know. Y'all need to tell the truth for real. When Monet just told me that not even that long ago, because she had to go into work. Like, you really go as you really went that far to tell your child that my mother had custody of my children because I was trying to get myself together. I've been with my children from the time I got clean. They ain't been taken out of the home with me. Even though I've been staying with my mama from 211 First Avenue to 211 motherfucking uh, North Elm Street and Salem all the way over here on the motherfucking West Coast. Y'all don't need to know my fucking address. Right? And to the motherfuckers that hack my shit, y'all know where the fuck I am. That's why y'all motherfuckers be having motherfuckers riding up and down my damn street. Sitting outside my damn house. Paying fucking neighbors and shit like that. Like, is this shit done stem so fucking far? It's into the governmental motherfucking entities. Like, y'all really is fucking sad and savage. <laughs> but I'm appalled and I'm offended that my cousin really just like told me the lie that you told her like how dare you and then you want to sit there and be trying to act funny with her and shit like that like i understand why you know what i mean shit is the way that it is because none of y'all motherfucking weak ass motherfucking men had the motherfucking galls the balls or audacity to genuinely step the fuck up and genuinely show the fuck up for us and she shared some shit with me about how she was trying to motherfucking, you know what I mean, come to you with some shit and you fucking shitted on her? It's nothing less to be expected of you. So, you know what I mean? It's just like, I'm glad that she finding out that, you know, it is what it is when it comes. Like, you can fucking love a motherfucker, but you can also love him from afar. You ain't got to be dealing with the shit. And I'm so, I fucking love you, Monet. I'm so glad that you got that understanding about yourself and your hustle and drive not to just be in your feelings and just let somebody else like fuck your whole mood up you're gonna speak your fucking truth and keep it fucking moving that's the motherfucking spirit that i'm talking about that's the shit that i'm talking about that's what the fuck we need and it's sad that the young the generations and the, and the younger generations that's up under me it's sad that we got to be the motherfucking ones to set the example for and set the tone for y'all motherfuckers when y'all should have been the ones motherfucking putting down the motherfucking blueprint from the motherfucking gate. Then don't want to help fucking put the pieces together. That's all right. We know how to put our own fucking pieces together and come up with the motherfucking solution to some shit on some real life shit. Like, fuck. And I apologize, you know what I mean, to anybody that views my videos and y'all have, you know, y'all have a problem with my potty mouth. When I'm passionate about something that really is just like, you know, I'm working on it. I'm really working on it, but it's the truth. That's all. It's the, it's the, it's the truth. I don't know how else to put it. But y'all not going to keep on sitting here, you know what I mean? So if that's what the one lie that was told by one person in the family, I can imagine what the hell y'all all got together because I know y'all was all sitting there doing all of the, you know, family, uh, you know, cookouts and shit like that and, you know, the barbecues and, you know, all of the family time stuff since I've been going or whatever and doing all of the backhanded, underhanded, backdoor stuff that y'all was doing. Y'all was doing the shit right there under my damn nose. But me, you know what I mean, being the loyal heart that I am and just trying to focus on me getting myself together, like, y'all really purposely <laughs> didn't want to take me to work, Mr. E and Auntie Karen. Y'all wanted to see me down. Y'all wanted to see me depressed. Y'all thought it was funny that I was going through what I was going through. Fallon and Felicia and fucking um, Tamika, like, I know that y'all sat there and y'all talked about me and over wine and shit and I laughed and kikied and teeheed and ha ha and had a part. And y'all know about the setup, the plot, the plan. Frank, Frank, you do too. We ain't even about to sit here and fake like, you know what I mean? We don't know what's going on. 
Now, I don't know whether all of y'all is on the get down with my grandmother situation since she passed away from here with, you know, contributing to stealing and doing all of the illegal necessities. Or does this go all the way back where the same key players are involved or some of them little, you know, some of them little different or whatever when my grandfather, Joe Porter, passed away? See, because this shit been going back so long. I've been sitting here doing the one to a lot of things, right? <laughs> and I know this shit stems all the way back to me living in Philadelphia with Mark Scott. 